Megalodon, meaning big tooth, is an extinct species of mackerel shark that lived approximately 23 to 3.6 million years ago during the Cenozoic era. It is believed to have been one of the largest and most powerful predators in the history of the oceans, with estimates of its size ranging from 50 to 100 feet in length. It is now classified into the extinct family Otodontidae, which diverged from the great white shark during the early Cretaceous. Hello friends, welcome to another amazing video, in this video we will talk about, Megalodon. Yes, this is same Meg, you watched in the Meg movie, directed by John Turtletop, who's best known for directing the National Treasure movies, but upcoming The Meg 2 is directed by Ben Wheatley, who directed 2020's Rebecca as well as Kill List and Free Fire. Before we continue, Make sure you subscribe this channel if you like to watch amazing and informative videos like this, you can check other interesting videos on this channel. So, Megalodon had an enormous jaw with teeth that could grow up to 7 inches in length. Yes, you heard right 7 inches teeth in length. For reference I like to mention, T-Rex teeth can reach up to 12 inches in length. The visible portion or crown for adults typically measures between 4 inches and 6 inches, smaller than Meg. Its body structure was similar to modern-day great white sharks but on a much larger scale. Megalodon had a robust, torpedo-shaped body with a broad head and a large mouth filled with multiple rows of large, serrated teeth. Megalodon was an apex predator and likely had a diet consisting mainly of large marine mammals, such as whales and seals. Its teeth were adapted for hunting and slicing through flesh, allowing it to take down large prey with ease. Fossilized remains of whales with megalodon bite marks have been discovered, suggesting their predatory behavior. Megalodon inhabited oceans worldwide during its existence. Fossils and teeth of megalodon have been found on every continent except Antarctica. They preferred warmer coastal and oceanic environments and were well suited for both shallow and deep waters. The exact reason for Megalodon's extinction remains unclear, but it is believed to have gone extinct around 3.6 million years ago during the Pliocene epoch. Several theories have been proposed, including changes in oceanic conditions, a decline in suitable prey populations, and increased competition with other marine predators. The disappearance of large marine mammals like whales may have contributed to the decline of Megalodon's food sources. Fossilized teeth are the most common remains of megalodon found today. These teeth are often large, robust, and triangular in shape. They can be over 7 inches, 18 centimeters, long and are highly sought after by collectors. Other fossil fragments, such as vertebrae and skeletal remains, are rarer but have been discovered in some instances. The first attempt to reconstruct the jaw of megalodon was made by Bashford Dean in 1909, displayed at the American Museum of Natural History. From the dimensions of this jaw reconstruction, it was hypothesized that Megalodon could have approached 30 meters, 98 feet, in length. Imagine, how big Megalodon was. Megalodon has been portrayed in many works of fiction, including films and novels, and continues to be a popular subject for fiction involving sea monsters. Fiction about Megalodon surviving into modern times was pioneered by the 1997 novel Meg, a novel of deep terror by Steve Alton and its subsequent sequels. As O told you, Megalodon subsequently began to feature in films, such as the 2003 direct-to-video Shark Attack 3, Megalodon, and later The Meg, a 2018 film based on the 1997 book which grossed over $500 million at the box office. Get ready for the ultimate adrenaline rush this summer in, Meg 2, The Trench. In this thriller movie, a daring research team dive into the deepest depths of the ocean. Their voyage spirals into chaos when a malevolent mining operation threatens their mission and forces them into a high-stakes battle for survival. 
a literally larger-than-life thrill ride that supersizes the 2018 blockbuster and takes the action to higher heights and even greater depths with multiple massive megs and so much more. In this film the depths of the ocean are matched only by the heights of sheer, unstoppable excitement. I suggest you must watch, the Meg movie. So, Megalodon may have simply become extinct with smaller whale species, such as Piscobalina. The extinction of Megalodon had a positive impact on other apex predators of the time, such as the great white shark, in some cases spreading to regions where Megalodon became absent. Megalodon is an extinct species, it does not exist in the present-day oceans. While there have been occasional reports of Megalodon sightings, there is no concrete evidence to suggest that they still exist today. That's all for today, if you liked this video hit the like button and also tell us in comments your study on Megalodon and don't forget to subscribe the Macula for more interesting videos. Now, I will see you in next amazing video, thanks for watching.